All right, for today's video, we'll be talking about if something is a molecule's chiral or achiral, and if it has a, it has chiral centering and whatnot. So the first example that we have Okay, if we have this um, molecule right here, and we'll be determined, determining it if the whole molecule, this whole molecule as a whole, is chiral or achiral. So the first thing we want to do is see the uh, something called the internal plane of symmetry. So that means inside of it, like draw a line. And if you see that the left side and the right side is half to each other, that means it can be achiral, right? So in this case, we drew a line right down the middle, and we see that left and the right are the same size so they're equal parts half and also we see that they both got a wedge okay so this means that they are a chiral a chiral as the whole molecule right the whole molecule is a chiral but now let's determine if it has chiral centers and whatnot so we'll start with the br here as you can see, there are four things. One, two, three, and four. Four things, right? So this, in fact, that's the chiral center. And also, same thing as here. So we have two chiral centers. In front of the example. So if you have the same molecule, this time we have uh, a dash, okay? So in fact, this is the same thing as the other one. So we draw the line of symmetry, and we know this is a chiral. According to the rule, we see that both of these are the same, a dash is a dash, so that means they are a chiral. Now we also have two chiral centers because it was the same thing as the same other problem. Because everything uh, we have four different elements of compound. Have the same example. Okay. Now for this example, you have a wedge and a dash, okay? Is this an achiral molecule or a chiral molecule? So let's draw the line of symmetry. You can see that the left and the right side are equally cut in half. But now we have um, something else. We have a wedge and then we have a dash. So these two are different uh, properties or different things so this makes it chiral makes it chiral not a chiral because uh, there's a wedge and a dash so there's two different things so it's called chiral and again we have two chiral centers So have this problem. So, to determine if this is a chiral or a uh, chiral molecule, we draw the internal plane of symmetry, cut in half, so that uh, we can see that the left side and the right side are equally distributed. But we also see that there are a wedge and there's a wedge right here. So a wedge and a wedge is the same thing. In fact, this is a chiral, and the other thing is to determine if it has a chiral center or not. We can see if we start here and go down, okay, these two are the same, 
and then these two are the same, and then we get here and it's the same. So in fact, there are no chiral centers, no chiral centers, because everything is the same. Okay, let's try this one. So, first thing we do is draw the line of symmetry. Okay, you can see the left side and the right side equally cut each other. But the thing is, we have a wedge and a dash. So these two are different, a wedge and a dash. So, this would be chiral, but the thing about this is that it is cut in half. It is cut where the internal plane of symmetry is. So this makes it achiral instead of chiral. Okay. In our other example, we have something like this. Um, Is something like this, and we cut it in half, and we saw that there's a wedge and there's a dash, and when it's different, it is chiral. Right? It would, this would be chiral, okay, because it's not in cut in half with the uh, like this. How when you draw the internal plane of symmetry, the dash and the wedge are on line well this they're not on the line they're not being cut so that is why um, this is a chiral and this is chiral okay so going back to the uh, problem you can determine that it also does not have no chiral centers so no chiral centers Kind of here. So here we have two dash. Let's see if it has an internal plane of symmetry. And in fact, it does. If you look at it, the left side and the right side are equally cut in half. That means, and they both have a wedge and a wedge, so that means that it is a chiral. Also, it has two plane of symmetry, it has two chiral centers. Because they aren't because if you look at it, this side and this side aren't the same, so in fact it makes this um, two chiral centers. This draw the internal plane of symmetry it has been cut in half. You can also see that the left side and the right side are equally distributed to each other. We also have a wedge and a wedge. So, in fact, this is a chiral. Also, it has two chiral centers. Has two chiral centers because they are not the same. If you start here, these these two are the same, but when you go here and here, it's two different things.
So if you draw the internal plane of symmetry, you'll see the left side and the right side are equally. You can also see that this is a wedge and this is a wedge. So that makes it a chiral. Also, we can see that there are two chiral centers. We have the same molecule. Okay. So this time we have a wedge. We have a dash. We draw the internal line of symmetry. And this time we have a wedge and a dash that's different. That means it's chiral. Okay? Because this is in front and this is in the back. That is why it is chiral. But as the same uh, as the last molecule, they both have two chiral centers. 